Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, Technical Trader. Wednesday night, November the 16th. These are the charts of the day. And because I was unable to do one last night, we need to get to the review that some of the boxer shorts that are looking pretty ominous, particularly with the market coming down the way it did today. I'm a little worried about a much deeper sell-off here. So, you know what they say? Uh, being prepared is forewarned or something like that. <laughs> um, CDR Energy. Now, I've been looking at this stock for a couple of weeks, especially with this ominous looking massive head and shoulders top. Look what happened today. Stock gapped down and dropped 357 or 16% and closed right on the neckline of this massive, we're talking seven or eight, 10 month, about an eight month ma massive top formation. If this line is taken out, and it may be on the opening tomorrow, we could see this thing slide into the mid-teens pretty quickly. So stay tuned on CVI. Another stock in that group is Holly Frontier. They look pretty similar. A massive top also dropped uh, 276 or 10% today and closed right on that line as well. Big volume on it, sell-off as well. And a move down here could take this down into the high teens. So uh, keep an eye on that one. Abercrombie & Finch, a stock we've been talking about short for a while now. Um, ran back up to test the double top and fell and rolled over hard with a big gap down. And then if you look carefully, you'll see a declining flag here. When the stock closed yesterday, run on its support line and gapped open below it today, this ensued. A drop of 760 or 13.6%. 22.5 million shares today, a massive liquidation. More downside may be had. I'm looking for 41 and then something in the mid-30s. Edwards Life Sciences, after a beautiful uptrend, broke hard in um, July and August. Snapped back to the resistance zone, double top there, rolled over hard and bounced in a three-wave corrective move. Kind of like a, if you draw the lines, you'll see the wedges in there. And then a hard slide in the last week. It took it from 78 down to 65. Now it's right near the or October low, but has taken out this line here and maybe headed south to test this juxtaposition down around 53. That's my uh, intermediate target, but the short-term target's around 60. TRW looking pretty weak. Um, it come down very hard from 61 down to the 30 range and half. Snapped back to 45 for 50% Fibonacci retracement and then rolled over. Now, after the rollover, it formed a little wedge, and today took that wedge out down to $1.65 or 4.6%, 1.8 million. The volume increased to the heaviest in a week. And we, it looks like we've cracked here. A retest of the lows is warranted around 30, my short-term target. Beneath that, the bottom of the channel indicates perhaps something in the mid-20s may be doable. Ensign Group, which broke its top formation with a one big day thrust down in, in the um, beginning of August and then bounced up in a bear flag only to retest, then formed a four month or three and a half month large, what I consider a bear wedge or bear flag. Reaching the top of the parallel channel and today dropping a dollar of 4%. Now the volume is light in the stock, but if it cracks here, look for a test of the 19, 19 and a half range, short term, in the medium term, perhaps 15, 16 zone. Genprobe, which had a beautiful run up over the course of the prior year, reversed sharply at the beginning of June and came down from the 81 2 zone down to the mid 50s, only to bounce around for a couple, three months and form what I consider also a potential bear flag as well. If this is not done and we crack to the downside, let's look for a retest of the 54 range short term. If it does get there and cracks that, we can see a slide all the way down into the mid 40s. <clears throat> Franklin Resources, that's Ben, which cracked from this big wedge and then it got crushed here. And snapped all the way back to the top of this, it looks like potentially a declining channel. Once, came down hard. Twice, came down and three times tested it. And maybe rolling over here. Be alert because today's action closed right out of just slightly below this line. And it could accelerate to test the 97 range short term. If that's taken out, look for a retest of the lows at about 88. Now, if this channel is true and we're going to get this stock much lower, could very well see something in the mid 70s before it's all over. So stay tuned on Ben. ASMI, massive topping, kind of head and shoulder top, came down hard in July and August as well. From the mini base, broke back up. The moving averages turned around, 
the top of the channel does it reached here. And we may very well be rolling over again. Look at this as a large rising wedge. And as with key support at 26 and a half, watch for that in the next few days. If that's correct, a run down to the low 20s may be had. China Yunshai CYD. I've been negative on this stock for a long time, uh, ever since about, oh, let's call it about a year and a half ago, about a year ago. Stock um, double top, cra cracked here, came right back once, twice to resistance around 22 and a half, failed and rolled over hard. You may remember this, we showed this in the May June period. Then came down hard into the low teens and rallied back to resistance at the moving averages. Came down to make nominal new lows from the rising wedge. And if this is any indication of where this stock may be going, look for the possibilities of a stock going to the high single digits eventually. BMC Software. We've got absolutely hammered in July and August from 56 down into the mid 30s. Mid, uh, call it mid to high 30s. Bounced around, rallied back to the 50, failed there, came down once, twice, three, four times. Notice how it keeps failing at the 50-day moving average and it's formed a new down channel. This little rising wedge in here appears like a bear wedge or bear flag. Um, retest of the lows may be warranted near 33 short term, and in immediate term, maybe as low as 30, 31. Open table, one of my top shorts ever since we noticed it in May, around 95, has dropped all the way down into the high 30s. And even despite this bear wedge here and this hammer shot here, Snap back and now it's got a falling kind of flag pattern. Terrible technicals. I wouldn't be surprised to see the stock at 31 or 32 short term. SMG is a stock we've been short a long time. Cracked, snapped back to resistance, came down double bottom and ran up, made a nominal breakout here and then rolled over hard to test this, the triple bottom bounced and now we're back down again to test that level. That cracks, look for a quick test of 40, followed by a move down to 37 to eight range. And lastly, today on the short side is Creighton Performance Polymers, which I loved last year. And it ran all the way up from the 13 range into the high 40s. But a clean break with a breakaway gap to the downside. And then this one, two, three, four, five wave decline, followed by a bear wedge, which is currently in formation. This is an easy one. It's in the downtrend. If it breaks down, it can start to fall pretty rapidly. My target is 14 and a half. And beyond that, an immediate target down around 12, maybe 11. However, if uh, these multiple tops up here around 20, 80, let's call it 21, are taken out, it would call for a move back up towards 25. So there you can stop it up at that level. That would also break the parallel channel. But if this does hold true to form, and that is a bear wedge, we're going to roll over and roll over hard here. Well, there's a about a dozen or 10 ideas of stocks that appear to be continue to look negative from the box of shorts list. And stay tuned. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Um, I'll talk to you then.